If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over our Team of the Week, Week 4 predictions. Now, guys, we hit on a few last week. Uh, none of the big ones, but we did hit on a lot of the lower set guys. Now, the lower set guys seem to be pretty easy to guess because... Lower set guys are pretty much going to be some of the best formers of the week. So, usually hitting on those aren't too hard. The ones that are going to be super hard are going to be the Legend Heroes. Now, the Legend Heroes are going to be damn near impossible. But we're going to try our hardest to get those. As well as the current hero is probably the easiest. And then the LTD current is decently hard. Because remember, it could be literally anyone in the NFL. So, guys, this can get tough. Now, the goal is to just hit a few throughout the year. So, we can come back to some like, okay, so, you know, we guessed a few right. Now, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, guys, we do have... Cantus MC 0311 shout out to you man for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. If you guys want a chance to shout it out, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course turn on the noti bell and be subscribed. Also, if you guys need coins for any of the Team of the Week players tomorrow and you guys want to start building up that God Squad for this week's weekend league, head over to Mutt Reserve down below in the description. Make sure you use code Poodle. Coins are currently discounted. If you take advantage of the discount and code Poodle, you get an additional 15% off. But that's about it for that. Let's get into this. So now start with the lower set guys so i'm gonna tell you guys most of them and they go over the ones i'm most excited about now one of the ones that i think will be most exciting will probably be this george kittle george kittle i believe will be getting one because he did have a great day he had like 180 yards a touchdown he went off now a george kittle plus one power up card would be well these are the power expansion cards he'd end up with an 82 speed and 90 catching now what really matters here is that his run block will be above an 80 and his speed will get a plus one which means also powered up will be a plus two so it'll end up like an 83 speed which will put him up there for one of the better tight ends he needed that big speed boost there and of course line him up for another card in the near future uh, i do believe that mixing could get one as well so as far as mixing goes like a lot of these guys aren't going to be too great for madden purposes just yet because the thing with these cards like mixing is just a really low overall so although he might get one going up from an 83 is not going to help many people it's be probably like an 82 now oh no it'll be an 85 actually once you power him up and get the power pass or the expansion on him so that's not horrible 85 speed from mixon now i do also believe that melvin gordon can get one as well i'm not going to go over him but melvin gordon could get one chris carson i think would get one now to go over this kiddo had 183 yards of touchdown mixon had like a combined like 170 or 180 uh, chris carson had two uh two rushing touchdowns like 80 yards and like 20 on the 20 in the air yeah like i see matthew stafford getting it matthew stafford had a great day as well like three touchdowns had, had a lot of stats there so matt stafford again a plus one isn't going to be anything too special it's just going to be a car that gets a plus one 88 throw power just spot i mean i guess maybe a budget squad you could probably rock with that but i don't think too great it's going over who i think and then will fuller for the last one so to wrap it up we got kittle mixon gordon car will fuller so there that's going to be my total six right there for the lower set guys now moving on to legend heroes now the legend heroes are kind of difficult to predict guys difficult to predict but i'm going to show you guys real quick the two guys i think could get it now there's one guy one guy i think could get it for the defensive one is james harrison who used to be the outside linebacker for the pittsburgh steelers as you can see throughout my history he's gotten so many cards always hard hitting usually a decent pass rusher as well as a run stuffer he's, he's usually like a very well-rounded linebacker just typically slow now the thing with the thing with james harrison is that he had a great week four in 2005. He believe he had an interception, a pass deflection. He had like a bunch of quarterback hits. He had a bunch of tackles for loss. Just a great outside linebacker game. Throughout the years, he's gotten mud hero cards. He's gotten um, Super Bowl cards. He's gotten, he's gotten literally every card you could think of. He's been around for a while since back in like the early, early 2000s. Uh, again, not too much direct info to show on his stats, but again, he's going to be slow. You're going to end up putting him more like as like a Mike level linebacker. I don't think that he'd be like... I, I don't think he'd be like a car. He's not gonna be a coverage guy. He's not gonna be a guy you can beat out there on like on passing downs. But he's gonna be super great. And like I said, he's gonna be slow. Probably have like an 80 speed if you're lucky. Maybe a 79. But James Harrison would still be cool just to see him back in the game, despite the, the, despite some of the stuff that you know, despite his stats, right? He's still gonna be cool just based on a name value. Now for the next guy, this next guy has been a Madden quite a bunch. We haven't seen him as of recently. This guy's Ricky Williams for the Dolphins. If you guys do remember back, I believe in Madden 19, he was our Mutt Master, so we had him all year. Rick Williams is super cool. He's a very well-rounded back. He's decently fast. He can juke. He can spin. He can truck. He can excel. He's five foot, I believe, like ten. As you guys can see here. Now Ricky Williams was also on the Saints as well. 
But the card we have within the Dolphins, I think, like I said, with Ricky Williams, that he was very well rounded most of the year. So if we got a Ricky Williams card, he could be super solid. If we can even get him like a 90 91 speed, and then he would have the truck and the juking and everything. Now, he had a great week four in 2001. He had like 190 or 180 combined yards, a touchdown. And he's been in Madden before, so I, I, I can trust, like, off the name alone, that he has a chance to be back in Madden, whether it be through here or end up just being through a legend, you know, a legend reveal. But I do think these are pretty pretty solid guys. I don't, the odds of them being them are probably like 1% or less because of how many players. Like, this can span all the way back to like the 80s, the 60s potentially. And you combine that with the 300, 400 players I could pick out of each year. It, it, it's really just, it, it's a throw in the dark. It, it's hard. But those are my two legends. Let me go to my current hero and then my LTD current. For my current hero for the week of week four, 2020, I'm going with Odell Beckham Jr. Now, Odell had a great day. I'm a Giants fan, of course, so seeing Odell golf was a nice was a nice thing. Now, Odell, as it's basically, is 26K. Now, I believe that is the only Odell we have in-game. So if he gets the hero, you do know his card's going to be pretty, pretty great. Because the new Odell card always, always is kind of like meta. He's always like a t uh, the second Odell creates typically like a Tyree kill that can like route run and catch. So let's go. So if he ends up getting a current hero, he will be a 90 overall plus power up, so like a 91. He's gonna end up getting let's oh wow okay so 91 Odell gets a plus seven plus seven overall increase. You gotta imagine right that he's getting maybe like a 90. I'm thinking a 90 91 speed. 91 speed on Odell. If he gets a 91 speed, guys, he's gonna be overpowered. His jumping will be above 90. His catching will be in the low 80s. His catching traffic will probably be like an 86. His spec catch will be like a 94. 93 and then his medium and short running will probably be like 87 across the board and then the defensive route running will be like 86 again if you can power him up and chem him up and do all that you can probably get that up so if he ends up hitting route running thresholds he's going to be the meta the only thing i'm scared of is that another odell may not hit the route running thresholds depending on how much they increase his overall for the most part but if he does end up getting to that that would be pretty crazy but again if he doesn't hit deep route running threshold we'll be fine with medium and short but he needs to hit that and then the issue is no everyone uses go deep no one uses like play fake or anything or west coast so getting those upper are typically hard if you don't end up if they don't have them already so hopefully he gets that speed and spec catch won't cut it but you know no dell card's gonna look crazy he had like I believe he had three touchdowns he had like 70 rushing yards just about 100 receiving maybe 70 receiving he had a great day now for the current day hero which is going to be guys the guy who had a great year a great week in week four not from this year but any year and he currently still plays and that's going to be a guy that i think deserves an upgrade anyways that's bobby wagner Bobby Wagner, you guys already know, Bobby Wagner typically, typically is one of the more upgraded guys in Madden, 75k for his base league right now, if he gets his current hero, I can see him being like a 91, um, of course, and that card alone, let's see, so the issue with Bobby Wagner is going to be speed still, but if he gets like a plus 3, his speed probably like an 83, 84, Hope maybe, maybe just an 83, but if they give him an 83, 84, I mean, that's a little bit better. He'll end up with like 84 excel, his tackling and everything else is going to be what's great, so his tackling is going to be like, it's going to be like a 92. 93 powered up and everything his play recognition by 92 his block shedding is gonna be like an 87 88 his hit power is gonna be over 90 and his zone may end up getting to like an 86 85 so plus lockdown and power up he can't get the 90 threshold gonna be super great the issue is gonna be that speed i mean the speed might not be bearable but that pretty much wraps up everything guys let's go over the list once more for a little recap we do have kittle mixing gordon chris carson matt stafford and wolfville are getting the power expansion upgrade team of the week cards like collectible pieces I have Legend Heroes, James Harrison, Week 4, 2005, and then Ricky Williams, Week 4, 2001. And for the current hero, Odell Beckham, they also tweeted out yesterday saying Odell Team of the Week with like the eyes emoji, so I think that pretty much confirms it. And then LTD current is going to be Bobby Wagner. So that's about it for today, guys. Enjoy tomorrow. Enjoy tomorrow's Team of the Week. Enjoy tonight's potential Team of the Week, uh, you know, maybe, maybe some little hints at night. If they do end up doing that. Enjoy it all, guys. I'm super excited to go check out who we have tomorrow. Enjoy the reveal later. Hopefully, you know, it ends up being a banger. Now, guys, if you want to be shouted in the Poodle Squad, all you got to do is go down below, comment down below, Poodle Squad, turn on the noti bell, like the video, and, of course, be subscribed. And then for Mutt Reserve, guys, go down below, pick up some coins if you need them. Of course, with, Mutt, with Team of the Week coming out tomorrow, we're probably going to need some coins if we do get some bangers, like Odell. So make sure you go pick up those coins. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.